Hello and welcome to part 3 of my X-Lights tutorial series. In this tutorial I will be covering setting up your layout and adding models to that layout. In the description of this video you will find a direct link for downloading the X-Lights software. There's also a link to download a sample show which I am using for these tutorials so you can follow along that way if you wish. I also have a few links to my personal display so you can see what I've personally done with the x -Lite software. So let's go ahead and get started. If you've been following along in the video series here, we've gone through and uh, we've set up our show directory, we've set up our different lighting networks, whether it be DMX, LOR, E131 controllers. Uh, I've briefly went over the testing function, how to make sure your controllers are actually set up correctly. Um, and the next tab we want to move over to now is our Layout tab. Now on the Layout screen, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and set our image um, for our background. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and import my actual house. There we go. And from here, we can go ahead and set the size if we need to resize it. I'm just going to leave it as is for now for purposes of this demonstration. Um, you can set the brightness. We can play around with that later. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put it at about 50% here now so we can get started. So now that we have our background image in, we can go ahead and start building our models or elements for our show. So on the left of the picture here, um, you'll see a button called Select Model Groups. We're going to get to that later. That is very important. Uh, but before we can do that, we need to go ahead and start creating our models. So to do that, there's a Models button down here. We're going to go ahead and click. And this gives us our models list. So let's say we're going to want to create a new model. And Let's say, let's start with our mega tree. So let's call this our mega tree. And this is a 360 degree tree that is RGB nodes. In most cases, your type of string will always be RGB. Uh, I recommend leaving this as RGB always. Um, if for some reason your pixels that you're using or your string that you're using is uh, coded BRG. I would try to change that in the controller settings before you change that in X lights. Uh, just for in case down the road you switch controllers or anything like that, um, you you don't run into any issues and, and troubleshooting trying to figure out why colors aren't coming out correctly. At any rate, that's where you can change it if you need to. How many number of strings do we have? So I have a 360 degree tree. It's got 32 strings, there's 50 nodes on each string, and there's one strand per string. So in this case, let's just say this starts on channel 1, uh, so we're add from DMX output 1. And we're going to say the starting corner is going to be bottom left, that's fine, and it is part of my display. And there's a little bit more advanced features, but for purposes of, of getting set up and running, uh, we've got it all set here. So now we can see that x -Lights has outlined, um, strand 1 has channels 1 through 150, strand 2 is channels 151 to 300, and so on and so forth. So we have a total of 4,800 channels on this mega tree. If we go ahead and click OK, we have our first mega tree put in. Now we don't see anything on the picture yet, and there's a couple reasons why. So first thing we want to do, let's just go ahead and click OK now that we created our first model, and bam, that tree pops up. So from here, you can resize and rotate and do whatever it is you need to do um, to place that where it needs to be in the house picture. So there, I have my mega tree set up and running. 
So now let's go ahead and create another model. Let's say a pixel net matrix that I have on one of my four windows. So let's go back into models. We're going to create a new. I'm going to call this my uh, window matrix one. This is not going. This is going to be a horizontal. Uh, let's see, vertical matrix. Difference between horizontal and vertical matrix. Horizontal just means your pixel nodes or your lights run left to right when they bend, or do they run up and down vertically? So in this case, mine run up and down. I have 800 pixels total. I have eight strings. Each string has 100 pixels on it. And each string, as far as the number of strands, has four. And by that, it means is that each strand is set into four sets of 25. So it does a little snake curve up and down, up and down. This one, let's say this one is on output two. So that's on my universe two. Xlights has pre-filled all of my universes and channels already for me. If for some reason your controllers aren't all set up this way and you have individual start channels for each, um, each strand, or different universes for each strand, you can actually come in here and click individual start channels. Um, for example, that starts on 2.1, the first strand uh, ends on 2.30. Uh, but in this case, the next one is, say, 3.1, and 3.30. The next one, 4.1, 5.1, universe 6.1, universe 7.1, Universe 8 1, Universe 9 1. So now, this matrix, each string of 100 pixels starts its, has its own DMX universe. And so in this case, um, these eight universes are what are being used for that pixel net. So you can come in here and actually, you know, configure exactly what channel and universe it starts on. Um, for the tutorial though, I'm going to go ahead and just let the defaults fill in um, so that way we can get over to sequencing. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I got my mega tree, I got my window matrix. Alright, so there we go. There's our window matrix. So now I need to resize that. And put it in front of the window. So there we got my first matrix done. A couple other things and models I want to show you here, and we'll go through a couple more. But within here, let's say I've got one, two, three of these matrices I want to put up. So I can go ahead and actually just copy this matrix. And we're just going to rename that to matrix two. Vertical matrix, everything else stays the same, but let's say it's on output seven. And it'll automatically output for you on the DMX universe and channels and OK and let's do one more matrix 3 starting on 12 let's say there we go alright so now I've got my three matrices there's number 2 there's number 3 the size of this is 10 by 11 3 so I'm just going to Change these to the same size for aesthetic purposes. And move them where you need them to position them on your house. There we go. So now I've got my three matrices done. Now I actually have a fourth matrix on this window right here, uh, but it's 600 pixels instead of 800. So let's go ahead and go back into our models. I'm going to copy this. It's going to be window matrix 4. There's actually going to be 6 strands instead of 8. And that is going to start on universe number, let's just say 17. OK. 
Okay. Resize it accordingly, however you want it, whatever the case may be. And I am going to put that there. Actually, I think it's a little narrower. Okay. So there we go. Once you get the first model done, if you have duplicates of that model, it's very easy to just duplicate it and pop it into place. All right, so we've covered Omega Tree, we've covered pixel nets or matrixes. Uh, now let's do uh, a couple simple, uh, let's do an outline. Let's just start doing a couple outlines here. Uh, let's do a new, it's gonna be a single line and you can also do just a bunch, there's a lot of presets in here. You've got spheres, you've got circles, arches, you've got the matrixes, you've got different trees. These are all just presets. Um, they also have a custom option, which I'll go over in a little bit here, that you can actually make a custom model um, pretty, pretty easily. So what we're going to do is a single line, and I'm just going to call this outline and uh, just outline A for now. Uh, it's going to be one string. It's going to have, let's say, um, start on the left of the house there. Let's say it has uh, 13 nodes on that string. In this case, I'm using a 3010 pixel strip, and even though there's, say, 13 nodes, uh, again, that's times three for lights. Um, this is just the number of nodes, so not the number of lights in this case of the 3010 pixel strip. All right, so, and let's say in this case, um, let's say the first pixel starts in the top left uh, from where the controller is connected to it. And we're going to go ahead and just OK that as is. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy this and make a couple of them here real quick. We'll just call this copy one, copy two, just for display purposes here. Okay, so now we've got our three lines, our pixel strips. So let's say this first one I resize it to where it needs to go. Let's say this is uh, part of the garage left right here. And then resize these. And let's say this is um, the garage right. Okay. Now, this third one, let's, we only put 13 pixels in there so you can see, obviously, the top of the garage, there's going to be more than 13 up there. So what I'm going to do is just get it into space here. So what I'm going to do is go back into the models and change my third one. And let's say that one has, let, let's say that's a full strip of 50. So there's 50 RG, there's 50 nodes, 150 lights total. That's going to give me channels 1 through 150. Okay. And okay. And you can see it automatically added those additional lights for me in here. Thank you for watching part three of my X-Lights video tutorial series. Please subscribe to my playlist. I will be adding videos as I can. And thank you for taking the time to watch.